Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve. Today, let's go through legal problem 1641. Count solid vowel strings. Let's take a look at the problem first. Given an integer n, return the number of strings of that n that consists only of vowels, a, i, o, u, only five vowels in the English alphabetical letter, and are lexicographically sorted. A string s is lexicographically sorted if for all valid i, as i is the same as or comes before as i plus one in the alphabet. So let's take a look at one example. n equals to one. That means there's only one character in the string. So the five sorted strings that consist of vowels only are a, i, o, u. So the output is five, making sense, very easy to understand. What if n equals to two? Let's see. Two, the output is 15. How come it's 15? Let's take a look at the explanation. The 15 sorted strings that consist of vowels only are these, a, 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 e, a, i, a, o, a U E plus plus everything. And if N equals to 33, it could be 66,045. All right, so this that's the out. N is, fol is following this constraint, smaller than or equal to 50, but greater than or equal to one. Um, there are multiple ways to approach this problem related topics is math, DP and backtracking. The way I thought of this problem is we can apply a little bit greedy and math to solve this problem. I thought it's very interesting to share. So I'm making this video now. All right, now let's take a look at the slides. For example, when n equals to one, there are only five vowels, five, st five strings, because there are only five vowels, right? A, L, U, that's it, A, L, U. So for example, n equals to one, output is five. That's because there are only five vowels, A, I, O, U, right? And when n equals to two, the output is 15. How do we reach 15? Of course, the explanation listed out all of the string permutations here. But let's think about how we can deduce from n equals to 1 to n equals to 2. So this is kind of dynamic programming already, right? But there is some math that I'm going to apply. Say n equals to 1 is here. Let's think about how can we get to n equals to 2. And when n equals to 2, the first thing that we can do is that following this definition, we want to find the lexicographically sorted ones, right? Lexicographically sorted, what that means is uh, si is the same or as comes before si plus 1. What that means is that a is the smallest letter in the alphabetical, in the alphabet, right? So we can apply a to all of these five strings in the prior n sequence. Right? So that means A is applied, is prefixed to all of these five substrings. Right? But how about the next one? This is not complete, right? For n equals to 2. Then we can also apply E to not all of them, but the from the second one to the last one, right? So we can apply E to all of these four, right? And then I, we can apply I to all of these three. Right, making sense because all of these strings they are still following the definition uh, lexicographically sorted. Then O, O could be prefixed to these two. Then U could only be prefixed to the last one. Right. So this is the total number of strings that we can form that are meeting the requirements of the lexicographically sorted vowel strings. So five plus four plus three plus two plus one, that is 15, right? That is 15 here, right? Can we find any pattern or rhythm here? That is, we can apply A to all of them. E to the sec from the second onwards, I from the third onwards, O from the fourth onwards, and U from the fifth onwards, which is only the last. What this means is that we can use some sort of an array to represent. In the beginning, it is one, 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 one. There's five ones. But then from the second one onwards, that is five, four, three, two, one, right? So if you're still not clear, we can take a look at what it will look like for n equals to three. Let's see. n equals to three, the first step, what we can do is that we can apply a to all of them, right? All of these 15 strings, we can uh, prefix a to all of them because a is the smallest, lex lexicographically smallest. So this one is 15, right? So how many strings we can apply e towards? So 
and all of these minus all of the ones beginning with a that is 10 right we can prefix e to all of these 10 how about i we can prefix i to all of these six right how about o we can apply o to all of these three how about u we can apply u to only the last one so what will this add up 15 10 6 3 and 1 that is 35 right so the math we can deduce from here we can clearly see this one is 35 how this one is 15 how did we get 15 15 is the total number here how did we get like we can apply the same pattern here the first one that we can prefix a to all of them how did this five come from this five come from this total right and then okay let's take a look at the second column this one is now is 10 where did we get 10 from 10 is this 15 minus 5 is 10 right same applies here to this second column this 4 how do we get 4 this is 5 minus 1 is 4 right how about this one this one is 6 how do we get 6 we we use 10 minus 4 why 4 this is 4 so this 10 minus 4 here is 6 we get 6 here right so this is how we can apply the math so whenever the n could be like 49 or 50 that's the constraint that's the constraint here all the way to 50 right which makes it to be and to be a dp problem we can build this array all the way up to n equals to 50 so that we can return the result directly we don't really need to formulate to to formulate all of these vowel strings we can just use this math pattern to help us to be there right so now if it's not completely clear just bear with me let me put this idea into the actual code hopefully things will clear up okay so the first case that we want to check is if n equals to one then there is there's nothing we can do we only need to return five that's it right and if n is not equals to one we can form a basic array we'll just initialize it to be five ones this maps to the basic operation n equals to one we have one 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 all right then i'll have a sum i'll start it from five because this is the sum sum is five and then we can build this array out for int i for int i equals to two i smaller than or equal to i smaller than or equal to n i plus plus we want to build this array gradually one step at a time from for example when n equals to one we have this this is initialized and when n equals to two we want to build this array to be five four three two one and then how do we build five four three two one we build this on top of n equals to one which is one 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 right and then from n equals to two this five four three two one array we can build n equals to three which is 15 10 6 3 and 1 now let's see how we can build that out so first i want to make a copy of this uh, of an empty array let's I'll just initialize them to be all zero. Then we'll just go through this array, right? How we'll, we'll just build it out. Then build the next iteration. Use j uh, array length. It's basically it's basically five, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. All of these five indices. And then if j equals to zero that is the beginning beginning which is just the, the previous sum that's the total because we're just prefix a to all of the previous vowel strings right which is this case when j equals to zero would we'll, we'll just find the total number of the sum of this one which is five so this one becomes five right let's put put it here so i'll put it uh, j this is sum sum is five else else is all of these cases when j is one two three and four these four cases what are we going to do how can we form this we'll form this by using 
copy j by using the the subtraction which to subtract from which so that is copy j minus one which is the previous one in this case it's going to be this five right minus this one which is the previous array j array j minus one this is the copy that we are going this is the new copy which is going to be this one right four and this is five minus this one which is going to give us four this is the 15 minus this five right which is going to give us 10 10 here 10 vowel strings here this is how we can get the new copy array after we created this new copy array we'll just assign this to arrays copy uh, copy five all of them i think it should be copy of this is the api now we'll just uh, calculate the sum again this code it might not be the super clean but hopefully i can get it accepted of course feel free to optimize this then just have another one not very optimal but uh hopefully i can explain the idea clearly now sum plus uh, array j so this is the new sum all right after this for loop we have we have reached when n equals to when i equals to n we have calculated all of the latest array at this point we have reached this sum at this point we'll just return sum um, i believe this should do the job let's run code to see if there is any compile errors all right it's accepted now let me hit uh, submit all right it's accepted 33 percent i thought it should be better because this is very very fast it's on one more time 37 percent let's remember that see if it could be improved still 37 percent uh wow what are the other algorithms that could be faster than this because this is on and we only use yeah 100 percent. this is what i was expecting um 100 that sounds like making sense to me because this is super fast we are using an extra array which is of constant space because this array is only five we're only using five integers and this we go through this n only one time and this o n is it's bounded by 50 so this entire algorithm is actually o one it's constant time so it should be very very fast so let me just making sure that is the case should be above 50 or 80 percent yeah 100 percent all right just one last time i don't want to spam the decode system 37 percent i promise this is one one last time should be better than 80 percent uh no never mind but there are a lot of interesting algorithms out there that could be more efficient than this but you got my idea the idea that i came up with to solve this problem is to build this the number of vowels for a given n from n equals to one all the way up to n so that we can use some math and dynamic programming to solve this problem in a very time and space very efficient way if this video helps you understand the problem please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help a lot with the youtube algorithm and i really really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i have accumulated a lot of different videos to talk about lead code problems um, technical problems data structures algorithm and also amazon web services um, certification exams feel free to check them out so hopefully i'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos thank you very much for watching